to be a true leader, you have to lead by example. I think you have to have that sense of, I'm willing to go out on the edge of that limb because I have a vision mm -hmm. for what it's going to look like. You gotta have passion and believe what's important. And you're trying to make a difference. You know, to give requires great leadership because sometimes you have to step out on that limb yeah. uh, and be that trendsetter or be that uh, trailblazer. You know, it says, you know what, I'm gonna make a difference. You know, Grand Valley is such a great example of that. I think they both have a real good zest for life. They're big thinkers. They met here. All three children were born here. The foundation of Brian's career is here at Grand Valley. And when they talk about Grand Valley, you can see their eyes light up. As a young couple and, you know, a young family, we really grew up there. We were riding the wave the momentum of Grand Valley State as a university, but, but it was also its, its academic reputation that was rising as quickly as football. I've never been part of uh, a situation where all of those things came together. I just remember saying to myself, what a dynamic duo. You know, you've got this head football coach with such an unbelievable immense platform is just so down to earth and patient and giving and willing to teach these football players. We've come a long way together, not only as a football team, but as men. Fiery guy, very passionate, a visionary. He's certainly been a father figure for both of us in how to not only be a successful, outstanding citizen, uh, be a, a true man, but how to be a good family man. I think it was passion met with opportunity that allowed my career to develop at, at Grand Valley. <laughs> And then you've got this wife who's a two-time breast cancer survivor and so inspirational and so down to earth. Pocky has uh, a competitive spirit. I just have one speed, let's go. Oh my gosh, Pocky does, you say go and she doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> I just stay point, out of the way of the tornado. He just looks at me and sees what I do and he goes, I gotta go back to work. She's always going, she's very competitive. She's got a spirit and a fire that is almost unmatched and, and almost greater than, than Brian. I think she could kick his butt, just so you know. <laughs> She's got such a phenomenal, inspirational story to tell, and I think Brian, as her husband, just is very, very proud of her. Being in education, Pocky's a, you know, a teacher. You're always around the sense of service. You, you, know, you're, you wanna give back. In my younger formative years, I was around great leaders at Grand Valley and, 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 and West Michigan that helped me as a leader to say, you know what, you got to be courageous. And so when we had the opportunity um, to, to begin to think about a foundation, we had already had that in our DNA in terms of service. She really felt like it was an opportunity that God was giving her and her family to give back to other people. Our mission is to support pillars within health, community, and education. So she is constantly reminding us of that, and, and every decision that we make needs to be for the right reason. I saw the blessings of the silver lining to it all and felt like there's a way we can make an impact. It seemed like the right thing to do. Well, I think uh, both started their professional careers here at Grand Valley, and so I think they have uh, a certain kindness in their heart because of the start that they received here. It's very appropriate that everybody in West Michigan uh, followed Brian in his career and uh, see his teams at Notre Dame now all feel uh, like they played a little part in that. They're very special. They want meaningful relationships yeah. with whoever, whoever they come across. I felt privileged just to even know them and to just to be in their presence and have that kind of inside track a little bit. We know where we came from, yeah. you know, and I think that's important too. We're just us and we do what we do. I was never a Notre Dame fan, but certainly I am a Notre Dame fan now. 